The name Commodore means a lot to Australians. It's synonymous with rear-wheel drive, power and Australian manufacturing. The all-new 2018 ZB Commodore is none of those, relatively speaking. Before you begin a tirade of negative comments about the name and whether this new car is any good, let's consider the facts. Holden and GM executives made the decision in 2011 that the next generation Holden Commodore wouldn't be built on a bespoke platform like the V and VF Commodores were. While the Zeta platform was a massive success from an engineering point of view, it was a business failure. If local manufacturing were to have remained viable for the Australian car industry, the car you're looking at here is the exact vehicle that would have been built in Adelaide for the Australian market. Holden was told by GM in 2011 that it would have input into the new platform, but that input would need to take into consideration the European, US and Chinese markets. In Europe, this car is sold as the Opel Insignia, and in China and the USA it's sold as the Buick Regal GS. With Holden's V8 Commodore sales well and truly trumped by V6 variants, by some 3 to 1, it was never viable for Holden to drive rear-wheel drive or a V8 into the E2 platform that the ZB Commodore is based on. Holden did push the petrol V6 into the program, though, insisting that it needed a sporty model to resonate with Australian buyers. That's the backstory and the reason why the car you're looking at here isn't available with a V8, nor is it available in rear-wheel drive trim. Should it be called a Commodore? That's your call. My personal opinion, which is worth as much as yours, is that the Commodore name should have been retired, but like opinions, we all have one. It's called the Commodore and the name is here to stay, so our job when assessing this car was to evaluate it from the standpoint of it being another entrant to the medium, large car market. We tested it without the Commodore name attached to give you a proper idea of whether it's worth spending your money on. The new Commodore range will launch with the availability of a liftback, a station wagon called the Sport Wagon, and a high-riding station wagon called the Tourer. The range will be offered with a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine, a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder diesel engine or a 3.6-liter naturally aspirated V6 petrol engine. As we published previously, the range will start with the LT 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol that produces 191 kilowatts of power and 350 newton meters of torque, priced from $33,690 before on-road costs. That's $1,800 less than the previous Commodore Evoque, or if you get in on the introductory $35,990 drive-away offer, a handy $3,935 less than before. Meanwhile. The LT Sport Wagon will kick off from $35,890. Fuel consumption comes in at 7.4 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers on the combined cycle. A turbo diesel engine is available as a $3,000 option on all LT variants. The diesel is a 2.0 liter turbocharged four cylinder that produces 125 kilowatts of power and 400 newton meters of torque consuming just 5.6 liters slash 100 kilometers on the combined cycle. Moving to the RS 2.0 liter turbo will cost you $37,290, lift back, or $39,490, sport twiggin. Those who get in early will benefit from an initial $38,990 drive away price on the RS 2.0 liter lift back too. The RS can also be ordered with the V6 AWD, 235 kW-381 Nm, powertrain, starting from $40,790, or $42,490 drive away as part of the initial sales push, in liftback guys, no Sportwagon RS V6 AWD will be offered, however. Sitting above the RS in the sportier side of the Commodore lineup is the RS V, priced from $46,990 as a liftback or $49,190 in sport wagon guys. The V6 powered rain is standard, along with more sophisticated hyper-strut suspension and a clever adaptive all-wheel drive system with an electronic limited slip differential. Meanwhile, the luxury-focused Calais starts at $40,990 in 2.0-liter turbo guys or $43,990 with the diesel, while the range-topping car on the more luxurious Calais line is the Calais VV6 AWD, priced from $51,990. Finally, the hero for the new Commodore range will be the VXR V6 AWD, 
235 kW-381 Nm, priced from $55,990, consuming 9.3 liters-100 km on the combined cycle.